A popular practice by parents these days is letting their child participate in these sports. Although this is common, it can result in serious traumatic injuries, some even life-threatening. According to StopSportsInjuries.org, each year there is an approximate 2 million children that have gotten severely injured. These injuries have resulted in about 500,000 doctor visits and 30,000 hospitalizations per year. To find out more, I interviewed an old friend, Mr. Innes. Hello, Mr. Innes. Hello, how are you? Good. I was wondering how you would feel about your child participating in these 10 sports, like football, lacrosse, or even eSports. Uh, I feel like football, with all the concussion stuff, might not be the way to go. Uh, lacrosse, concussions are less. Um, Soccer, I played soccer, it's less intense, uh, but it's also still fun. And if you get in at an early age, just like lacrosse, then it's fun as you work your way up. Uh, it can teach your kids like leadership and responsibility and time management, and getting their stuff done on time. Uh, like the kids that play Fortnite, if my kids play Fortnite, that's fine, as long as they, you know, get good grades and get their homework and stuff done first, then, you know, they can, they can game. Thank you, Mr. Ennis. No, thank you. Recently, as the number of child athletes has increased, so has the intensity of sports they are indulging in. Sports such as football and soccer are becoming more and more dangerous as the speed and size of athletes increases. Yep. Most parents want their kids to succeed and do the best they can, but sometimes they are pushing them way too hard. According to ABC News, as many as 4 in 10 emergency room visits for children between 5 and 14 years are for sports-related injuries. I was seven years old, it was the seventh t-ball game of the year, and uh, we were tied 7-7 seven seven in the top of the seventh. Um, I was up to bat, and my coach cheered that I had this. The pitcher threw a fastball, and it went right down the middle, strike one. His next pitch went a little high, but it curved right back at me, and it got me in the face. I got a black eye from the ball coming in. That game traumatized me for the rest of my life. Give me that. Ever since the incident of my eyes, my esports career has come to a screeching halt. I can never play a competitive match again. It was a usual day when I was training with my team for our upcoming Fortnite tournament. We were playing practice matches for around 10 hours, and after staring at my monitor for such a long time, I finally looked away. My eyes hurt to blink, and I couldn't look at my monitor without my eyes hurting. I immediately told my mom about this. We went to the doctor and found out I had severely strained my eyes. Now, I have to wear gamer goggles. Esports is not worth the risk. That is what can happen to your child if you allow them to engage in extremely intense and physical sports. Now, would you want that to happen? Dr. Romero, in what ways can you prevent youth sports injuries? Well, to start, you could not play a sport. We're listening here, brother. If you could change to this contact sport like chess or, I don't know, uh, rock, paper, scissors. Or you just change the, the rules and regulations. 